Hey team, as you can see, this is my 65 ton Bigger Boys Toys Log Splitter and it is a complete weapon. I've had this thing now for about three years. I bought it from direct from Bigger Boys Toys. They're down there south of Wollongong. Uh, and it has been a fantastic purchase. You can buy these, it comes in a box. You can ship it direct to you or you can go and pick it up like I did. And then when we got home, we just got, got it in the shed and put it together. You need a couple of big strong lads to get this, get this eye beam out. But once you get it all set up uh, and you've got your 20 litres of oil and you get it all set up, it's instructions to follow, it couldn't be any easier. It's a good project, you get into it uh, and you, you start that thing up and, you, and you, you're splitting in no time. So let me run you through it. First thing you probably notice, it's on wheels, okay? I've towed this thing around the property here. It lives most of its life under this humpy that I built. Keeps, it off, keeps the weather off the motor and the most of the machine. It keeps the sun off me when I'm splitting in the summer and it also keeps the rain and everything off. And, it, and, and it, I sometimes often split in the rain when I've got nothing to do. Uh, and it allows me to stand under here and split and just chuck the timber out to the side. So, so being able to tow this thing around, fantastic. It's running this 420cc Jangdong engine from China. Now, you might say, ah, oh, Chinese engine should be a Briggs and Stratton, but I've got to be honest with you, this engine has never had anything go wrong with it, okay? It's powerful. I think that's running, I think they run it, that must be about 30 horsepower or something. It's really, really great. Starts every time. It's got electric start here. It's got a battery, the battery's over here. Uh, and I, I can't fault it yet, it's been great. Tip for your log splitter, like every other small engine you own, when you're going to lay it up for a while and not use it, run it, turn the fuel off, and let it run out of fuel. That will drain all the fuel out of the carby, and you'll lower the risk of gunking that up over when it sits and the fuel evaporating, and you won't be able to start it when you come back to it. Better still, get in under here under the carby and drain the fuel out of the bowl. This thing has a crazy wedge on it, okay? It's got a really sharp start to the wedge. I have not been able to mark this or ding it, and I have put some stuff through this thing like you wouldn't believe. Three, four hundred year old hardwood trees that we got out of the bush, and then it goes into a bigger wedge. Okay, I've found this can go through just about anything. It's also got a two-stage hydraulic pump, which is excellent. You see it end of the log, it starts to work hard, and then bang, she's straight through just about anything you can give it. I do, the stroke ends about, a couple of, this is a 600 millimeter stroke cylinder, and it, it ends up being about 150 mil short of the, of the foot here, and that's fine. What I do is if I wanna, if I'm splitting something that's not quite splitting apart the whole way, might be some stuff that's, that's, that's dry, timber that's dry, and it's really sticking together, I just put, I just get a bunch of, I just get blocks of timber here, or another piece of split timber, and put it in the back here. So this is just a, just enough, so it leaves about 30, 40 mil for the wedge to come, because you don't want to go hard up. That allows me to put the timber in, and it comes through, and the wedge really splits right to the end, and they just fall apart. It's got this guard here, which I really like. It allows me to, you can, I, I lean up against it, and it protects me here, which is great. Now, I'm left hand, but it doesn't seem to bother me too much, okay? And then it's also got this plate on the side here. When you split your logs, you, they go over and rest there. That's also really handy. The actuator valve here has a rear detent on it, which is really handy. So you're splitting forward, you're pushing the ram forward, off she comes, and then as you're bringing it back, you just put that, you go away and get your next log and it comes back and then uh, returns to the center position. That's really handy. Some other great features, it has this supporting foot here that you can put down, and this is for when, I use it to stabilize the splitter when I'm splitting day to day in a, in a horizontal position, and it also allows you to bring the, to stabilize the splitter when you're splitting in the vertical position. I'll show you that now. And there you have it ready to split in the vertical position. You can split like this all day. We've rolled some stuff under here that we needed the tractor and the bucket to roll them under, so it just doesn't give up.
that was a really hard piece of timber as, as an example. That was a big start of a big co-dominant branch or a, or a trunk, and it's got a massive hard knurl in the middle there. No trouble at all. The only thing that's gone wrong with this machine is the letters shook off. <laughs> I don't know where that other bee is. In the ground here somewhere. There you have it, my 65 ton log splitter from Bigger Boys Toys. I can highly recommend it. If you're in the market for a log splitter and you want something serious to split just about anything you can throw at it, vertical or horizontal, this is the machine you want. Happy splitting.